like to invite up Eric Gimeno to talk about his dad. This guy probably knows more about sleep medicine before the age of 10 than anybody in the world. And uh, he'll, he'll tell you his story. So you want to come up here and talk? You go, there's my bed. And wh while Eric's coming up there, I'll just show you. This is a, a photo and a portrait we did of Dr. Gimeno. And this is a infographic that's set up for the public that we've designed that will be released on our website and via social media outlets. And this helps explain the career of Dr. Gimeno from 1968 to 2019. He was a true 49er. Take it away, Eric. Thank you, Adam. I promise I'll be brief, don't worry. Uh, first, first, let me thank everyone here for allowing me to participate in something that my father, Dr. Gimeno, dedicated his life to. Unlike the many other speakers at this event, I don't have any formal expertise in the subject matter, unless you count the unplanned attendance at sleep conferences my father took me as a child. <laughs> Rather, I want to simply talk about the man who was behind the great researcher and professor. My father was passionate about his work. He loved the research and exploration of sleep medicine and he dedicated most of his time to it. His weekend schedule was generally some light garden work, followed by a bike ride through the Golden Gate Park, and writing and reading in his office. He had this incredible ability to focus on a subject and spend hours working on it. Many years ago, a friend of mine wound up sitting next to him from a flight from Paris to San Francisco. My friend foolishly thought he would have someone to speak to during the flight. Instead, after some brief pleasantries, my father spent the next 11 hours of flight working on a paper. This surprised none of us. <laughs> not, only did he, not only did he have a passion to explore and discover, he also wanted to share, to teach, and to spread the knowledge of sleep to as many people in as many disciplines as possible. It didn't matter what disciplines you covered, what country you were from. Growing up, I would go on trips or attend dinners with him, and he would be talking to people from Finland, Japan, or Turkey, giving them advice on how to establish sleep clinics. If you were interested in sleep, and sometimes, even if you weren't, he would happily give your guidance on your journey. He wanted the knowledge and teaching of sleep to spread like wildfire. He had the same approach when working with colleagues in the medical profession. You could be a cardiologist, pulmonologist, a surgeon, or a dentist, and if you wanted to collaborate on sleep, he would work with you. It was important to him not to work in silos, but to work together to give the patient the best possible care. Because that was the crew of everything to my father, the patients. The desire to share and spread knowledge has many origins. His French upbringings, his time in Africa, his life as an immigrant. All these factors played a role. The result is that his patient's well-being was always, always at the forefront of his mind. He generally cared about them. He would listen to them and work with them. Patients were his motivation, the reason he wanted to share the knowledge to make sure that they got the best treatment. It would seem perfect, stupid, as he would say in French, to forget that the reason he to forget the reason he and all his colleagues were in sleep medicine was to help people. The fact that so many people remember him today and all, all over the world, be, the, be they patient, colleague, or former student, is because my father consistently put his energy into helping them. Most of all have met, read, or worked with my dad. You probably already know most of this. All I can add is that I think that I think what would be most important to him is that you continue to learn, educate, and help others. My brother jokingly talks about the sleep family when speaking, of, when speaking of about our father's colleagues and patients. So you guys are all the sleep family. <laughs> I can think of no better term and for him no better legacy. All I can do is to encourage you to keep that family strong and keep it growing. Thank you.